We have the world premiere of the new 1.0 liter turbo GDI engine. We call it 1.0 liter Kappa T GDI engine. This engine uh, is now firstly introduced in the Kia GT line uh, seat. And uh, we are very happy to see this downsizing concept now in the market. Yes, T GDI is a T for turbo and GDI for gasoline direct injection. Well, the, the 1.0 liter TGDI engine is a perfectly engineered downsizing concept. So uh, we replace a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated engine by a 1 liter turbocharged engine. So the focus of engine development was on the turbocharger layout for excellent low end torque, but also attractive maximum power. And uh, at the same time, we have to focus on the emissions. So uh, the combustion concept also was uh, uh, carefully engineered. And finally, the NVH is a big item, especially for three-cylinder engines. We managed to come with an engine without balancer shaft, but showing highest quality aspects of NVH. Well, the, the customer is interested in driving performance, and the low-end torque of the turbocharged one-liter engine is one of the benefits the customer can feel directly. On the other hand, the CO2 or fuel consumption for the customer is the second item which gives them a great benefit over the currently existing 1.6 liter naturally aspirated engine. Perfect. Excellent. Michael, good answers. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed. Now we introduce the new 7-speed DCT. <laughs> we increase the maximum torque of the DCT from 260 to 300 newton meters. So this allows us to use this DCT also for a wider range of engines. So we now start with the U engine which has a maximum torque of 283. Well, the benefit is uh, in terms of CO2 that we now have seven gears instead of six, so we can use a better spread of gears, which offers the customer uh, some additional fuel savings of about five to seven percent. And uh, the acceleration is also improved with the seven-speed DCT over the six-speed.